I applied for the MB PhD programme during my BSc year in 1994. Miraculously, I, I got onto the programme and really never looked back. I mean, it was a phenomenal opportunity. It totally changed my life. The MB PhD programme is one where you can integrate a PhD into your medical degree. After four years of medical school, you do a PhD where you do full-time research along with maintaining your clinical skills and then you return to medical school for two more years. I want to be a clinician scientist, I want to be a doctor who um, is trained in medicine and is trained in science and does research based in his speciality. A physician scientist is very complementary to a basic scientist and can offer the world the ability to address a whole range of questions that a basic scientist is not prepared for. The flexibility you get on the programme is incredible. Like, for example, I spend uh, the mornings or a lot of mornings in the week uh, at clinics at Queen Square and I have that luxury to be able to just get up, go down to a teaching round at Queen Square on neurology about something I love or go to a clinic on a disorder which I'm interested in. And I can mix that in with doing my research, which is the most important aspect, and reading papers, and going to journal clubs and discussing papers, both scientific and clinical. If students have identified a project they, they think they want to go and explore, we're very happy to look at that with them. But if students come without a clear idea of the project they want to do, we have a very, very well set up system to help them locate possible supervisors, meet them, and if we think it's a viable project, support them in finding funding. The science at UCL derives its strength from the close partnership working we have with our local hospitals. These are some of the very best hospitals in the United Kingdom. They include UCLH, the Royal Free, Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital, Moorfields Eye Hospital, the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital at Stanmore and the Whittington Hospital. The MBPHD gives almost unparalleled access to really high profile scientists with a global reputation. Over the four years, I've had the chance to meet amazingly clever people from all over Europe. The door it opens and the, the people you meet and the connections you make, and then you, these are lifelong connections that you make. You don't have to necessarily have published 100 papers to apply or have become top in your year. I think the main thing is that you have the enthusiasm and that you very much enjoy research. Without a shadow of a doubt, the world absolutely needs MB PhD students. And we need clinician or physician scientists because the physicians can identify problems that are relevant to patient health, that are relevant to patient care, that are relevant to patient outcome. So really it's that opportunity to put basic scientific observations and translate that into new findings, new diagnostics and new treatments that are going to benefit a large group of patients. So there are times in research it may take weeks to months to perfect a protocol for us to be able to analyse or see anything. But when you suddenly see your experiment working and your cells lighting up a, a bit like a starry sky across a black background, it's, it's quite amazing. And you just feel like going to tell someone immediately that your question might be answered. It's fantastic. There's no, there's no better feeling than actually getting a result that gives you a definitive answer to a question you've set out to answer. Uh, so students who join the MB PhD programme achieve not only a training in clinical medicine but also a training in research and science. There are very select few people who can achieve both and they're the people who go on in the future to lead our profession.